Let's refresh. Is it working? Test. I don't see it. <laughs> Let me check my own channel. Set. And of course, we have to make it visible. Stream house, no data. redirect i have to test your settings by your stream you'll open obs and it is ready for you to go live once you're ready click start streaming and you're not actually live yet inside your live control room wait for the stream preview to show up Hey, yo, wait, am I live? Somebody wrote a comment, but I don't see it on YouTube, but I see it here. Wait, am I live? Where are you watching this from, person who wrote a comment? Let me go on my own channel to see if I'm live. Because in the YouTube live stream, it doesn't show me that I'm live. Oh, we're live. Okay, I see. You. What's up? Okay, it's working. Hello, let me record this as well. So I have it. Apparently we're live. It's working. Five watching. Hello, five people. Thank you for joining us. Oh, we're live. Uh, sorry, I was watching. I was the sixth. It said six. I was the sixth. Uh, today we're playing World Wide Web. Look, I want to start streaming. I don't know if I was going to do YouTube or if I was going to do... You're live, bro. Nigeria. Nice. W welcome, dude. If, if I put this on stream... Okay, wait. You guys can see your comments. You don't need to see that. Um, welcome. Thank you. Uh, I want to start playing or streaming. I was going to do either kick or Twitch and I might still do it. I know a lot of people, I know like easy does Twitter and YouTube. Um, maybe I should do Twitter to also capitalize, capitalize on the Twitter audience. But for now we're just starting with YouTube cause I got a YouTube channel. Uh, so I'm playing worldwide web. Uh, it's an extraction MMO RPG where here I'm like going through different stages and then you collect items and then with those items you could build or rather you collect resources and with those resources you could build different weapons and stuff oh we got a legendary upgrade boom hey what's good uh hold up let me try to not die what's good king polly thank you for joining the stream I've gotten to stage three. After that, like you really need to manage your health properly. If not, I find I take way too much damage. And you need to get lucky and get a lot of upgrades for health. So here I'm doing increase the chance to avoid damage. Oh. I don't know why I took damage there. Like they didn't touch me. Now it's on very easy mode. See, to health 10%. The most I've gotten my health is near 300. Boom. Hey, what's good, MMM? Thank you for joining. Hey, what's good, Max? Is this the Nodi gang? Is this the notification gang? I didn't post this anywhere because I had no idea we were live. <laughs> I should post it in Guerrilla Labs. Uh, after this, okay, avoid damage. I'm a gamer now. Uh, I mean, I love playing games. I usually like rage quit League of Legends, but I don't actually quit. I like say I'm going to quit. But, uh, you know, especially for projects like projects, I guess they don't view me as a gamer because I, I post about flipping <laughs> gaming NFTs. But if I want to be seen as a gamer, I got to show everybody. Plus, I mean, dude, there's so many good games that are going to be coming out. Uh, I want to play them. I ran into open YouTube and saw it. Let's go. Hell yeah. Saw the noties. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. I got to up the setup. I got to like, this is my first try. Uh, and then I want to get like a nice background. I want to get the chat on screen. 
See, I want, I, the goal right now is to fill up this bar with Yoku. And uh, when this bar at the bottom fills up, I get to upgrade my, my weapon, my health, whatever it is. And then you can see some upgrades here. Uh, it's kind of luck of the draw. You know, you get health, you get distance, you get whatever it is. And here I get to choose an upgrade. Let me share the stream in, uh, in Gorilla Labs. One second. Uh, announcements. Everyone. Live streaming on YouTube. If anyone wants to watch me crush. Oh, crush this game. So I'm a gamer now, guys. I identify as a gamer. Please make a choice. I'm going to take the machine gun turret. So I've played this uh, twice already, and like I have three abilities. But every time, it's an extraction shooter. So every time you enter the portal, uh, you kind of have to choose how far you want to go. And then if you leave or if you die, if you die, you lose all your progress. Or you lose all the items you got. If you leave or die, your skills and everything restarts at zero. Um... And then I guess, you know, I'm, I'm trying to make better items, better weapons. So the better items I get, the further I'm going to be able to get. Because now it's hard. Like stage three, I have to hit most of these. Or I think pretty much all of them, I have to hit them oof, multiple times. But I'm already running low on health. And your health doesn't heal between rounds. That's what's annoying. There is going to be an option, though, to heal. But I, I'm usually greedy and I don't take it. See, they didn't hit me, but I took damage. That's what annoys me. You have to do the... Uh, these All these upgrades suck. You have to run backwards. Like slick, slick back. I'm a pimp named Slick Back. I don't know how they do that. There's one that the guy's really good at doing it. It looks like he's hovering. Oh yeah, and I'm... Ooh. Okay, so when you upgrade, it pushes them back, which is good. Also, I'm not deciding when any of these skills are activating. So it's swinging the sword on its own. So you really have to time it. Same thing for the gun. I did manage to get it yesterday where the gun was going on command. Uh, obviously with a timer, a cooldown. But it's not working today. I don't know if they did an update. Or if my game was just tripping. Oh, yo, look at those dodges. And there's a storm that's getting smaller. Oh my god, I'm getting abused. Did the game bug? Okay. <laughs> I thought the game bugged. Um, the storm is getting smaller. Oh, I have to collect these Yokus because it's not going to end. Dude, I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. If I make it through this, normally I'm greedy. I'm not making it. I'm not making it. Give me health, bro. I haven't healed. I haven't had one health drop in this whole... Yeah, I'm dead. That was the practice round. That round doesn't count. Oh, what's up? Sorry, I got I to gotta get good at like reading the text as well. Um... Is there a play to earn? Honestly, I have no idea. I, I know by playing at least one hour of this game, um, and I think it's free to play. I saw Yellow Panther had a link he was sharing. I, I, by playing it, I know there's an NFT mint, but uh, so far, I mean, I've earned gold, but I don't think there's a, there's a token attached to it, at least not yet. I haven't looked into it enough. I'm hopeful that, um, how much do, yeah, I have 1,300 gold. So I'm hopeful that there is a token, and I get rewarded for playing. Is this like Vampire Survivors? I never played the... Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, yeah, I've never played those. Got the cat hat. Was disappointed it's not an NFT, though. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I was like, I see, dude, some, like this guy right here has like wings and everything. I'm like, okay, are these NFTs? Can I go like buy some of these things? Like when, um, when I started playing Beacon. <clears throat> but... Maybe they'll make it eventually NFTs. Because they're like a, way, a, na a native Web3. Oof. See, health. Good. We start off strong with some health. They're a native Web3 gaming studio. Or at least I think they are. Okay, there's some health there. That's 25 health, so I'm not going to use it right away. Mm, increase the width of your arc. Anybody get grifters? That was a good mint. 
from 0.045-ish to 0.4. So 10x almost, or 9x. Increase the rate, yeah, let's do this one. I like increasing the rate, it makes it go faster. Oh, I'm gonna get the health. Oh. Hold up, but I can't read that right now. Uh, you could buy them, but they aren't NFTs. I asked them, they said, those would not be an NFT. You get a free piece of art for playing one hour of the game, that's it. That sucks. They gotta capitalize on NF uh, Web3 people, dude. Feed into our, uh, our greed here. Give me a token. Pay me a thousand dollars for playing your game, you know? Uh, let's do damage. I've never gone ham on the damage. The one I like upgrading is health because it gives me so many more chances, but I'm really not getting a lot. Maybe they nerfed it because when I played two days ago or whenever it was, I was getting a lot of health upgrades and it was abusive. I was like 300 health. Let's do crit. Sometimes, even though I don't want crit, I just pick it because it's it's blue. <laughs> it's a blue upgrade. I'm like, I might as well. It's going to be a higher percentage than... Ooh, health. Okay, I'll grab that at the end. That one's more. That one's 50. No gruff grufters for me. Yeah, we got lucky in Gorilla Labs. Dude, I tried messaging him three times. He never answered. What game is... This is World Wide Web. Yeah, I messaged him three times, uh, but his DMs were flooded, and then, thankfully, uh, the homie NFT boy saw my video and, and sent it to him, and then he checked my DMs, and he hooked us up with some spots for the gang. Let's just t take all the health. I'm assuming the health disappears between the rounds. I should test that, actually. So we got blessed with five spots. And of course, meme land, dude. I'm so hyped for meme land. I don't want to get overexcited. Everybody's asking me what market cap do I think you can go to. I don't even want to speculate. As long, it better break a hundred. If it doesn't break a hundred, dude, we are captains are going to zero. <laughs> but if it does, already I'm happy. Let's see if I can turn it. Yeah, yesterday I was able to turn this off. It's as if they got because this was Q E R and space. So I was able to turn it off and like do it on command. This is on PC. I'm not sure if it's on mobile, I didn't try. But I don't think so, because their main game, um, World Wide Web, the one with the apartments, I'm pretty sure that's PC only. It's very bold of you, sir. What's very bold of me? Increased chance. Three hundred mil start, eight hundred mil after a few days. You gonna hold for a few days, dude? Three hundred mil is would be already amazing, dude. That means three hundred mil means you're getting like the initial drop from that is. It's a bulge. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, that's why you said it very bold. Oh, I get it. I get it. 300 mil. She's snoring. Is, uh, what, like 5,000 initial airdrop? And I think it was like 15. I forget. I forget the numbers. I have to go through that sheet. But 400, yeah, 400 mil is where it starts to get dope, dude. Like the initial airdrop is, is like 5 ETH. And then you still have like 18 ETH left in the captain. And the pre-sale, dude, the, that means the pre-sale went ham as well. Um, we, we're just rolling in it. We are just rolling. Captains would rip. Like if, if we're actually at 400 mil market cap, let's say, captains would start to move. And if we get to 800, <clears throat> Don't grab the health. I'm gonna put in some. E oh, there's balls. What's good, balls? Okay, I didn't even notice it was you. <laughs> Sorry, I have to read the names. I'm uh, gonna put in some. Yeah, that's what. Uh, While well, you were there earlier in the Discord, when we were talking about it with Lucky. Lucky was was Lucky bullish as usual. 
I think we're gonna open re way too. I don't think we open. I mean, the higher that we open, I do think that's a bullish thing because let's say we opened at 300, people are gonna think it can 2x from here. Um, there's gonna be a dip, but even with that dip, I think people are gonna think, okay, we could 2x. And if we, so if we open at 60, you know, 2x, it's just 120, which isn't that. It's still amazing, but it's not, uh, you know, we, we all waited, what, 10 months for this, 12 months? There's so much health. Why can't this happen when I'm at like three health, yo? Maybe this is a good run. Cause I find to do some runs, I get zero health drops, zero health upgrades. I'm gonna try to leave it. I wanna see if it stays for the next round. You are made for studying games. You can never play and talk about something else. What do you mean? Oh, uh, like play while... Yeah, some games it's hard, dude. Some games it's hard, depending on the topic. This is kind of like... Honestly, I'm playing better than when I was playing and fully focused. <laughs> oh, here's an item for free. Which means uh, we want to get the next one and potentially extract. Come on, a good item. And I got some like gl a glass panel. What kind of an item is that? <laughs> it's crafting materials. I actually don't like, like I wish I could put the drones on command, dude. So the drones kick them back, but it would be so useful. Oh my God. It would be so useful if the drones... Okay, so the health disappeared. Uh, if I could do the drones on command, so in situations where I need an out, or I need to knock them back, I could be like, right now. As opposed to, you know, I want to hit them, and anything that approached me gets knocked back by the drones, and it's kind of... Reduce the cooldown. I'm going for cooldown reduction. I need a better weapon, too. Oh... I'm trying to read what you guys are saying. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm taking so much damage. Talking without people really talking back is really hard. Thinking out loud and saying everything you're doing. Not for me. Night. Later, Bolts. Thanks for dropping by, man. I appreciate you. Increase damage. Increase the range. I'm doing... Uh, oh, dude, I want both. I'm doing damage. Um... Yeah, no, I mean, that's like the, I started the Twitter spaces. We were debating doing one today with, with uh, Ash Robin, but uh, I feel like we're quickly going to have to get more people on the spaces to make it interesting. Like the, the chat we had today in Skippy's, that was like dope conversations and it flows, you know, we're never like out of things to talk about versus when you're just two on stage in front of, of hopefully hundreds of people. At one point, you're kind of just like, you're trying to think of things to say as opposed to just a natural flowing conversation because you have to entertain people. So that's why I, ideally we're like four. So people are constantly chiming in. There's different opinions. Some people feel strongly about different stuff. Some people have a different experience. I have to kill the red one because he puts up an electric wall. Oh man. See, zero health drops this map. Zero health drops. Oh my god. Uh, I have seven health. I should have extracted. Then I went to got the rare item though. Oh, that stupid orange thing jumped on me. You lost your bag. Don't we all? Haven't we all? Is this a character? Hello. Why are their names? Uh, so this guy has the cat hat. Okay, this is what you were talking about. Guy who said he got the cat hat.
Yeah, I wish, dude, I wish uh, there were NFTs, man. I would, I would buy some gear. Or like a base. They should have done like a starter pack. Maybe they did and I just didn't check. Christian? From, from Discord, sir? We oui. he's speaking French to me. Homie knows. <laughs> no. Talking spaces would have. There's a stupid. I need to make the chat bigger. There's like a heart that goes over the text. There you go. Talking spaces would have to be a bit more formal, though. It feels like. I don't know, dude. Like you look at. The nifty portal, like that's what we, I mean, I want to start streaming it as well. Not just spaces. Uh, I don't like the idea of, of limiting it to spaces. I like being on camera and having like a, a show. Um, yeah, dude. I mean, they just chat. Sometimes they talk about like sports and stuff. I don't like when they talk too much about random stuff. It doesn't have to do with, you know, web three or I remember there was a period where they would spend so much time talking about random stuff. It would take them like 30 minutes before they would start to uh let's just keep going for a swing rate let's just fully upgrade the sword this one uh yeah it would take them a while before they start talking about like web 3 stuff um they would talk about like their rent and everything 20 percent. let's go but yeah it kind of just flows you know people say what they feel what they what they want that's why i like like with ash we're both just gonna say what we actually feel like I feel the difference between, because you know, Easy has a show in the morning, and then I'm sure the people who tune into that also tune into Nifty Portal. So we're kind of gonna touch on a lot of the same topics, um, which is gonna get boring for people, since especially if we go right after them. Maybe if we do an afternoon show, it's gonna be different. But, excuse me. Um, but if yeah, I mean, we we have like. You know, Ash and I both do collabs. We both have to deal with all these projects. We're both like hunting for projects, especially earlier ones uh, for our groups. Reduce the damage taken. I said I'm going full sword. Um, so yeah, we have that experience. You know, we could talk about that, like the, I guess the inside or like the behind closed doors that a lot of people don't see when it comes to a lot of these projects. Because we have some like really bad experiences with these projects too. It's not always wag me friendly conversations with these projects. Some of them are like, the, the collab managers are very unprofessional. Uh, I wonder if I ran into the storm right now, if it would give me damage. I don't want to try it, but yeah, some of the collab managers are so hard to deal with. They ask the world from you. Like, hey, I want an exclusive freaking documentary filmed for one first come first serve spot. And it's just like, no, thank you. If you want a video, pay me, then I'll make you like a, uh, an explainer video on my on my channel but a lot of them just want like fr everything for for free and they think like dude that's the worst when a project thinks their nft is going to the moon yeah we're gonna have a 20 eth floor you're, you're like they, ha they have this attitude like you should feel blessed that we're giving you even a chance to get whitelist to give us money for our picture <laughs> and it's just like man you guys Who's your, your web three person, you know, like who understands the culture and the history? I'm taking so much damage to understand why, why this strategy is going to fail. That's why I always say like in my videos and stuff, like people underestimate how much value they could bring because they think, oh, I'm not an influencer. I don't have X amount of twi uh, followers on, on Twitter and it's like, no, no, dude, you understand the call. I've had calls with like some projects that failed and great, dude, awesome teams from Web2. They just, they tried something cool and it failed. And they, and then I tell them like, I just run through their strategy for fun. I'm not like charging them. I'm just chatting with them because they're cool guys. And they're, they're like, wow, I wish, you know, I'm telling them like, oh, you did this, like that project that they failed doing this. You should have done it like this because this succeeded uh, and it's the meta right now. Oh, I need that health. I need the health. That's 50 health. And they're just like, they're just trying to soak in as much. They're taking notes, trying to soak in all the info. And they're like, wow, I wish we would have spoken before I meant. 
Um, so like there's a lot of people out there who just want that kind of advice. I'll read it uh, at the next upgrade. I see there's a few messages. Come on, a big swipe. Boom. Okay, the next upgrade isn't for a while. I need 35. I'm at 17. 17 Yoku. Oh, my, I need the... I don't know how I took no damage there. <laughs> Dude, it's a, these are so clean. If I can get some big swipes off. Okay. Yes, when Nick gets started. Yeah, dude. He has to tell you it's full day. Nifty Portal's been around for years now. Yeah, dude. They're, the, those guys are like veterans of doing it, you know? They understand how to host a show. And they all have different characters. You know, like Kicks and Easy are more like traitors. Um, Nick is just hilarious. Pio, I'd say, is the more... Prof I mean, they're all professionals, right? But he's the more like professional one. Like he understands like, hey, we're a business and we're representing brand and everything i mean nick too uh, and and all the other guys and then they they some i don't know his name but that bald dude who last time i saw him he, with the beard he was talking about um flooring protocol he's more like analytical um where he was like explaining how flooring protocol works and so is easy right he was talking about like the bonding curve and all that and then you got signal i'm gonna go for this one instead of the drones then you got signal who uh, i'm gonna take the healing too See, this would have been an upgrade instead of an item. Last time it was an item. I think this only heals you 50. Oh yeah, then you got signal with like the facts about projects and the, the what's it called? The weather report. Spencer, yeah, that's his name. Okay, this is uh, World Wide Web from, uh, or I think it's just called Web actually. From World Wide Web. I should, uh, I'll put a link in the description after. I think I'm pretty sure anybody can play, but like I said, I know uh, Yellow Panther on his Twitter had like I guess it's a referral link or something. You guys should go use it in case there's like an airdrop. He'll get uh, some sweet points. I wonder if they do have a token though. That'd be the move, right? That's what I'll look at ZTX and all that. I wonder how many people tried out ZTX who wouldn't have just because they wanted an airdrop. Give me more health. Bunny, dude, Bunny is hilarious. He followed me the other day. He joined our spaces for half a second and bounced. <laughs> uh, yeah, Bunny's hilarious, dude. I don't think he's docs or anything. He's just, he's like chilling in the background on Twitter. Oh, yo, did you see that swipe? That was clean. Let's go. I love those. Don't, I can't go too far in a storm. I'll take damage. Oh, a blue gem. What is that? Yoku Shard. Swipe. Swipe. I need health, though. A health drop would be nice. Boom. Boom. Oh, another Yoku Shard. Clemente too. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure he's the one who controls the cameras and stuff, right? Deciding who should be bigger and uh, what they should show on screen. And I mean, you can tell, I mean, they have their, so I read their newsletter every morning. You can tell they, they have like a, I, I don't want to say script. They have like a, a soft script that they kind of run through. Like, hey guys, today, this is what we're talking about. For those who need to know, like, here's a, a brief explanation of it. And I think Clemente is like on uh, up to speed with every topic they're going to talk about. It, I mean, it's a business, dude. They, you know, they raise money. They're running a proper business. And right now they're at, they're all at Solana Breakpoint. That, that's the ideal. Like, that's what I spoke about with Ash. We want to get it to a place like that where it's recognized. Because, dude, you could print, man. Brands, brand sponsorships and getting projects on and I mean, I don't want to bring too much projects on because I, I hate most of these spaces that are just like a and a It's so boring. And like it's softball questions, right? What's your project about? Oh, that's cool. What the game are you building? Not like, dude, how are you going to how are you going to survive? Like you're only raising half a mil for your game. Like, dude, games cost uh, this game probably costed over a mil to build. So how are you going to build 
Oh, dude, that was a horrible direction. How are you going to build a good game? You know, ask hard questions. I'd love to get some... Yes. I'm extracting. I don't care. I'm extracting. Oh, wait, there's health, though. No, I'm extracting. Um, make sure I got everything. There's a fine line. Because somebody... I told somebody that, and they were like, yeah, but no, if you're like that... You know, I would love to get on a project like Artifact and then ask them, like what's going on with all the stuff you know i get it you're building a fashion brand i love it dude i just ordered some dunks my other shoe i still don't have my uh, self-tying shoes or whatever but uh, i mean i'm wearing an artifact hoodie right now um but at the same time like what's happening with the nfts are they just do you not care about them anymore like is the story dead is the what's happening with animus animus is a year old and we were supposed to get it in january I was on a spaces with you the other day. I was a speaker, saw you in the crowd. I was talking about tokens being useless and other things and about Web3 doing it backwards. Yeah, dude, tokens is just uh, to pay. What, do you remember the spaces? Sometimes I just join a spaces and I'm not actually listening. I'm just there to be in the audience. Oh yeah, what? Am I stealing people's stuff? <laughs> Thank you for all the free stuff. Why are there floating heads? Sand hood. Um, yeah, I mean, especially when they don't plan, they kind of just launch a token and they don't have a, a real plan for it. I'm sure there's a bunch of games who have launched tokens and now they're kind of like, what do we do? Like our, our tokenomics are wrong and we don't know what to do. Hey, sure, man. Stop by. That's what we want to do. We want to bring up people and just have a... Dude, is this? Is there a bunch of free stuff on the floor? Fresh water. Why am I zoomed in? Give me that free stuff. It's all gone. Okay. Um, yo, he's a cool... Oh, okay, wait. No, that's... Uh... Yeah, they keep baiting me. <laughs> okay. Boom. Let's get... I want to go see what I can craft. Ooh, I bought an ish coin and it's 2 x Hopefully it doesn't open. Okay, good. Uh, do I sell? Should I sell this? Uh, sure again. Sorry, I'm just putting in my password. Uh, what is my password? It's way too long. Uh, let's go to my main wallet. It's my trading wallet. Refresh. Can you see this if I bring it on screen? I have no idea. It should show you. What are my holdings? Let's go. I'm up. 85%. Let's go. I'm a ish coin trader, everybody. Do we sell it? Let me ask. <laughs> uh, any chats? Looking forward to your show, building a Web3 media brand. Hey, what's good, Expresso? Thanks for stopping by, bro. Media brand is definitely going to make a yeah, moneymaker in the bull. I agree, man. Uh, better start building your audience now before everybody comes back. Yeah, dude. Uh, yes, either sell now or grow a mullet. Uh, dude, I would love to grow a mullet, bro. I would love to grow a mullet. <laughs> I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna hold it. Go to zero or, or hold it. Uh, let's put it here. I'm sorry, I'll bring it back. Uh, how do I? Oh yeah, here one. Uh, 
I bought here. I bought this candle. Only point one. This is, but still. Just copy to clipboard. Yeah, it does. Let's add it to our favorites before man LMI. Can't believe I uh, paper dude. I sold this at 600 mil and it went all the way up to. Or sorry, 600k and it went all the way up to four mil. What's extra? Let me guess. Extract is also up. It's at a hundred. Yeah, I sold it at a hundred. I sold at 150. It went. It crashed down near like he hecka low. <laughs> it went down really low, and then I didn't buy back. I'm not a Ishcoin trader. Was talking with Captain about you the other time. We think you look. Lebanese. Marhaba. Are you are you Lebanese? Do you ever get that? No, but I, I have some friends that are Lebanese and they all taught me Marhaba. Kifak. Alright, let's keep playing. The man himself. How you doing, Gorilla? Hey, I'm good, bro. How are you? Playing some Web3 games. We gotta get all those Web3 game whitelists. Now we're gonna go craft. Let me in. Let me in. There you go. Hello, Hector. Uh, what can I make? What can I make? I can craft a steel and go. I can craft another glass panel. Common blade. Can I make any cool stuff? I need a titanium ingot. How do you make that? Oh, it's here. Okay, I need titanium ore. How do you make titanium ore? You cannot. I guess I have to find it. Let's just start making stuff. Oh, glass bottle. Somebody asked me for those. It's like a quest. Let's make this. Dope. I made an energy blade. What else can I make? Craft. 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 <laughs> Wait, can I make other stuff with that? Craft. I'm playing arts and crafts. And I think that's it. That's it. Can I buy these items? Like, this is dope, dude. 60% dodge chance. Chance. Can't speak. Big time. Still waiting for you. Yeah, no, dude. <laughs> What's up, Eric? How's it going? Uh, it's going to be... I just wanted to test with this. It's going to be the next game I play. I guess tomorrow. Actually, tomorrow I'm going to have to film. Unless I film... I'll write my script early. And then I'll film after. But yeah, I, I got the code for big time. They're supposed to give me 10 passes. Uh, I don't think they did yet. But... Wait, so now I crafted that. Can I make items or something? What does the blade do? Wait, did I just send somebody a friend request? Can I equip? No. I have no idea what the blade does. I guess over time I'm gonna unlock more and more. Oh, hello. Why do you have a question mark over your head? Oh my goodness, finally, please come in. What's wrong? It's my son, I can't find- Yo, I literally have found your son. He's a good boy, but he tends to wander. I found him already. He was at the well. I turned my back for a second. Bro, fine. I already did this quest. Oh wait, you found him. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, what's in your hand? Looks like something you picked in the playa. Hmm, Pioneer, you take it. Please come back anytime. What'd you give me? I received. What is it? It's a torn sand suit. Torn sand suit. It's the same one I got. You know what? I'm throwing it on the floor. That's how much I don't respect it. You can take your, your gift back. Give it back to your son. What do you have for sale? Pink dye, fresh water, 
sand hood. Boots. I guess I already have boots. Uh, thanks for the San Fran Tokyo call. You nailed that one. Did the conviction mint as well because of that? You star. Hey, I'm glad it worked out, dude. <laughs> I don't. I'm scared of calling stuff, man. Uh, I got to get more confident with my calls. But I mean, uh, there's a team member actually in this chat right here, right now. Is the music too loud? Um, it's too loud for me. Let's lower it just a little bit. There's uh, Mr. Eric right above you in the chat. Uh, he's on the San Fran team. Spill the beans, Eric. What? When alpha? When token? When airdrop? When partnership with uh, Binance? There's no. I, I don't know if there's a partnership with Binance. <laughs> oh, yo, this guy's got a dope sword. Uh, speaking of your Discord, I was in it back in 2021 for a year plus. But after a while, you guys moved to. The, yeah, I. I well, I'll keep reading your message. I couldn't find my way around of it sending any channels, so I bounced. Wait, did okay, were you making a game on Cardano? Is that what it is? Uh so at one point, hey man, hey, what's what's good? What game is that? New big tweet soon. There you go. From the man himself. San Fran Tokyo tweet coming soon. Um okay, this is world this is web by World Wide Web, like that project with the apartments. I got to put the link in the description. I wonder if I can edit the video right now. It's because I launched it. It's weird. I thought I was going to go live from YouTube, but I went live directly from OBS. Uh, me, no last time I made a game was 20. Okay. So sorry. I thought you're somebody else. Um, yeah, no, I, I removed all the chats. I got to deposit my items so I don't lose them. I removed all the chats because uh, you know, at one point it was like rampant with scammers and they were just dropping links and stuff and I didn't want to have to deal with it. And then me six allowed me to shut off the links. So I was able to just, uh, I guess I could sell the cups cause I don't think you could forge anything with cups. Um, yeah. So now there is a, a public chat. Uh, it's kind of, it's kind of filled. I got to figure out what to do with it. It's pretty much filled with GM. Although some people now are chatting, but most of the time people come in to chat just to be able to uh, pitch me. They like befriend me for a day or two and then they're like, hey, can I add you? I want to talk to you about a great opportunity, which like you don't need to. I mean, I'm happy to chat. You don't need to do that. You could literally just I put an email, right? You can literally just email me and I'll answer it. Um, I use a burner, so it's useless sending me scam links, but yeah, I'll answer it whether it's a yes or a no. At one point, I, I didn't. At the beginning, I didn't, but uh, now I answer every single email. So if there's an opportunity, I'm going to throw this stuff on the ground because I don't need it. Uh, but I got to figure out what to do with this stuff because I can't. Oh, okay, the vault keeps going. Uh, I might as well put it in here. Yeah, I got to figure out more stuff to do in this town. Can I just go in your vault? But yeah, there is a general chat. So if you want to just send you a friend request, on uh, you can't. I'd have to send, just tag me in the general chat. Uh, my my friend request is locked because if not, I get a million and then it's it's useless. Like it, it becomes useless because it's a sea of friend requests. I, I'm at a thousand. I have to unadd people. They need to make it that you can have more friends. I have to unadd people. Oh, dude, it pumped. I missed it. It's at 94%. That, oh, dude, it pumped. Okay, wait, no, I'm looking at another token. That's why. Okay, I'm, I'm up. Oh, wait, wait, I'm playing. I didn't realize I was playing. Uh, I'm up 94%. On this token. Let's go back to the token. Mullet. One. Uh, we're up 100%. 2x, baby. And I'm not a caller. Somebody literally just sent it and said, yo, buy this. I <laughs> put 200 bucks in it. And it's all like every call this person makes is great, right? Sometimes they're good. Sometimes they're not good. You hope there's more good calls than bad. Uh, 
Uh, let's do increased damage. I'm actually shocked that only 14 people watching right now. That's all good, dude. I'm happy that there's even 14 people here. I did Twitch once and, uh, or kick, I forget. And there was like two people. See how much loot there is, dude? And we full heal. Let's go. Ideally, I can try to get to four, stage four. I think I have tried. I've just never beat stage four. I've tried it because there's these bigger robots. Um, I, I like this as the first upgrade. Oh, this is seven times better. Yes, sir. <laughs> I gotta figure out the game, dude, for, for streaming. Uh, there's also a lot of opportunity with streamings, right? A lot of the games I talk to, they're like, hey, can you make a video for us, all this stuff? I'm like, I don't know if I wanna make a video, but I could, you know, maybe stream your game for an hour or two, if it looks cool. And there's a lot of cool looking games, and, and they're down for that, so. There's a lot of casinos, dude. The casinos wanna partner, but I'm just, I'm so weary of partnering with them. I don't know why, for some reason, in Web3, people get really mad at you if you gamble on stream. But if I'm, you know, talking about trading ish coins and monkey pictures, apparently that's not gambling and that's acceptable. But then when you press a slot button, it, you're like evil for encouraging others to gamble. And these same people go and post like, buy, uh, you know, whatever token dollar they put the ticker symbol and everything and they shill it and then it goes to zero yeah dude i actually really like the game <laughs> it's like my fourth time normally like if a game sucks I'll, I'll play it for like three minutes and shut it off i've actually come back to this game to check it, to play it multiple times but there's no nfts there's no not that i need nfts in every game but i kind of thought there would be like right now, I'm realizing it's really hard to craft items. So I'm kind of like, the fact that it's hard is is making me less motivated to keep playing. I'm probably missing something though. Like there's probably something I'm not seeing. Uh, maybe an extra shop or maybe I have to do more of the quests. Getting people to watch the stream is hard though. Yeah, dude. Especially gaming. Yeah, it's all I think a lot of it just has to do with personality even the setup like I need I want more lights uh, I can't I can't see myself right now because the chat is blocking it, but During the day especially uh, If I stream with all the, now it's gonna be winter so it's gonna be dimmer But with all the light coming through like it doesn't look as nice and Sometimes dude if you have a good setup people watch you purely because you have a nice setup. It's weird I've done it right where it looks more professional let me move this so I could, uh, here, I'll just put it in the center. Pump. We need to pump, sir. Meme coin pump. Send everything else to zero. Pump meme coin. And I'll buy an eight. You need a mullet, sunglasses, and a mustache. <laughs> yeah. And put doc, Dr. Gorilla. Well, I do like the, his character though. Hi, Gory. Can you get me whitelist for what I can't see what from here? Uh, for what? Maybe I can. For what project? You guys think... Wait, that's really long. You guys think that the art... The NFT art meta is dead. Can NFT art collection... <laughs> yeah, it's so hard. <laughs> I'm trying to focus on this and read. And there's a stupid heart above the bottom chats. It's so poorly set up, dude. Like the words at the end of the sentence are cut off. Can an NFT collection get sold purely out of art alone? I'm walking right into them. Really out of art alone. Um, or does it need to be tied to a company or a game project? Dude, if it's just, you know, there's a lot of projects that have nice art. That's what, when I talk to teams and I'm like, 
I, you know, I'm not feeling the project that much. And I'm like, so why is anybody going to buy this? And then they're kind of like, oh, I think we have really nice art. And I'm like, you know, who, who gives a shit, dude? <laughs> like, that's my honest point. Like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. But like, who cares? We have so many PFPs. People put a PFP because I have 30 seconds. People put a PFP because, you know, yeah, they really like it. They have a certain feeling towards it or um, it makes them feel rich, right? Like Bored Apes or something or uh, CryptoPunk. Um, I think if it's going to be purely art based, ideally it needs to be an artist. Like look at Grufters. It's not everybody's cup of tea. I like them. I think they look cool. Um, but the, the main reason a lot of people are buying them is because it's, I guess his name is Grufter too. So it's Gruff, right? And he's built a fan base. He released these one of ones and he got collectors and then he released, he released uh, an art piece. Even uh, Sam Spratt. Sam Spratt's pieces are great, right? I love his art, especially his one of ones. If a random that had no name just released the masks as an open edition, like they're nice. Nobody would have bought them at 3 ETH, right? But it's because it's Sam Spratt. And he has existing one of ones that have such a high price and his notoriety. Then people are like, okay, yeah, I'm going to buy this. Uh, and dude, the price, I mean, I, I minted one, I flipped it but it's higher than I, fl I flipped it, I think for 5.9. And right now, last I checked, it was at six point, the, the volume is very low, but it was at 6.69 the floor. Uh, I would love for him to do a burn where everybody gets an individual mask. But you know, if you want to do art based, ideally you're an artist and you're building your, your uh, portfolio, but also your fan base. It's really important. And a lot of art is networking too, dude. Like it's, you know, all these people who are connected with Sotheb Sotheby's and all that. Yeah, they have great work, but it's also a relationship thing where, and you know, the traditional art world is filled with a lot of money laundering and I guarantee you that's going on in the NFT space. Um, so you buy a bunch of somebody's pieces, you inflate it super high. One of them sells for a million dollars. All of a sudden the entire collection is worth a lot. And then, uh, I don't know how it works. They donate one to charity. And then they spent uh, 10K on this piece of art. They donated a million dollar piece. They get a big tax write-off, right? It's not actually worth a million dollars. But now everybody looks at it like, wow. There's like a, a thing that happens in your, your brain. That's the first time I realized NFTs actually were something. Was, because um, I remember in a video I had said, oh, dude, I hate these. I'm getting absolutely destroyed. Why are there so many? Yeah, the first time I actually realized I was in a, I forget the gallery, but those virtual museums where you could tour the, like a 3D museum. And I was walking and I saw, I think it was an ape. Maybe it was a pump. It was, I think it was an ape, an ape on the wall. And I thought, oh, this guy has an ape in his collection. I knew nothing about apes and NFTs. I just knew apes sold for a million dollars. And then I, it hit me, I was like, wait, I just reacted to a board, a guy owning a JPEG the same way I would somebody owning a Ferrari or like a, obviously not the same, but like somebody owning a Ferrari or a Rolex. And then I was like, okay, there is something to this where like having that is a flex and it means something to people. And then I kind of, uh, I need to walk through, I think it's five damage. Uh, and then I started doing the deeper dive and then I made a tutorial and, uh, I bought an NFT for the tutorial and that NFT, I papered it, but it sold for 10X. And I was like, wait, you could 10X, I'm gonna have to walk through this. You could 10X an NFT, yeah, I'm dead. In a day? And then I just, uh, it took off from there. You need a spotlight for the cat. I had a light, but it, I didn't want it to be shining on her, uh, directly on her. Hey? Can you guys see her? I don't even know. Yeah, you can. Her little head, let me move the mic. You're the star. You're the star of the show. Hey. Eh? Uh -huh. They're killing you there, bro. I'm. Co oh, what's good, Capone? What's good, buddy? You need to switch your uh, PFP to your longamol. Dude, I was I was listening to Easy Eat Bodega stream. And he was playing uh, YOLO rec or YOLO on uh, on Looks Rare, 
and then and then I bet against them. I'm like, yo, bro, it's Gear. Like he saw it was me because it's on YouTube. As like I bet against you. He's like, wait, are you Dramey.eth? And he goes to look at my wallet. He's like, why do you have a shit ton of longimals in your wallet? <laughs> you got to represent the longimals, fam. Uh, when meme coin reveals uh, meme coin, I think it's on Friday. I took damage for no reason. Friday at 4 a.m. Eastern ish. That's when Binance says they're launching it. And then uh, I'm assuming some people are going to start putting together pools on the secondary market or on on DEXs. The hive mind. That's how La Jacon became famous. You know the story? I do not. I'll have to look that up. The hive mind is what? It's like a group of people. It's like the NFT cabal that people always talk about. Which, like, it doesn't exist, but it exists, you know? But it's not like uh, people imagine it, like, it's like Sopranos. Organized and everything. It's kind of just like it just happens. <laughs> yeah, bro, I wish. Pluto's to, to point. What uh, I don't know, pick a price is more likely than Longimals. I can maybe end if I grab all the ones that are on the ground. Wait, do these upgrades come from... I just realized the upgrades come from killing them. No, okay, no. Yeah, it is. Wait, no. Is it? Okay, no, no. I thought it was from killing them and not from picking up the Yoku. Because then I was like, bro, I should not be picking up Yoku. Stacking the upgrades and then run around picking up all the Yoku in one second. Why is this not picking up? I'd be pissed if it was a good item. Pluto's to 0.5. I pray, sir. I pray. Was that round one? Bro, I suck. <laughs> I need one dance. Got a Hennessy in my hand. Slash. I hate that now I need to hit him twice. I guess not all of them, but some of them. Slash. Health, please. November should start off strong, dude, with the meme coin. If it does well, there's so much liquidity in the market, especially for NFT people, because there's going to be a lot of DeFi people buying meme coin. It's going to be a beautiful airdrop. And I'm stuck. Okay. And then uh, what do we have? L37, I think it's early October in the first week, week and a half. Hey, there you go. He's got the the long <laughs> um, ooh, L37 should cook. Uh, I got hella lucky with that. I won it on free NFT, which really upset some people. Apparently, I'm not allowed to win things. Oh, man. Reduce cooldown or increase fire rate. I'm reducing cooldown. You're right, Z, I'm flexing the Longamo on YouTube. Let's go, dude. You got to represent. I should switch my PFP to Longamo. I wonder if that would actually affect the floor. <laughs> if I just tweet something is coming with a Longamo. <laughs> and then it's just a hoodie. <laughs> I should really start to troll. Please don't go buy Longamos, guys. There's, there's nothing coming with them. Ooh, that was clean, man. That was clean. And we got the heels. Where are you going, robot? Yeah, don't, don't hurt me.
wonder if through OBS you can do double streams. Like if I could stream from... Um, I don't know if I could go Twitch or Kick, man. Twitch is obviously the more established or like notable one, being a Twitch partner. But I feel like they restrict you a lot on what you can do, right? All these, not that I'm gonna do anything crazy, but all these people, I don't like that people get banned for stuff and, you know, kick is just like, yo, do what you want. I like that. It's more, it, it feels more, it's not, but it feels more de decentralized, right? Yo, send them, bro. We'd all be rich. Real lives would be longable kings. When I approach projects for collabs and like, oh, tell me about your group, I should be like, we own like 50% of the, excuse me, of the longable supply. What a flex. They're gonna be like, Shh, here's 100 spots. hit no increase swing i'll never sell my long animals bro if long animals are at one eighth you wouldn't sell them sell me your rank one we need like a scare game you know I, i've been saying there's like a game like don't scream or something where you have to walk you have to find your was that the one where you have to oh no the, the find your dog one is where you make noise but there's another game where i think it like uses your microphone and there's like jump scares and if you scream your character dies uh they need like a web 3 scare game fear to earn or something i don't know <laughs> I try, dude, I, I try to get into the, I mean, I don't watch that much, but I tried to get into the Halloween vibe or the October vibe and watch some like scary horror movies and they're, they're all so bad, man. The only, I watched Scream, the original Scream. It was good until the end, the ending sucks. But so many, I watched, what's that one? Uh, with like that couple that goes around and, and, uh, solves like with the doll the annabelle doll and all that I'm th I'm it starts with a c the conjuring so bad bro <laughs> i had heard joe rogan talk about how it's it's his favorite like franchise or whatever how, however he put it so i was like okay this is gonna be dope it sucks in my opinion it's not good the only scary movies to ever actually, uh, except when I was a kid, when I, as I got older, to actually still scare me was like Paranormal Activity. Though I couldn't watch those, dude, when I was like 16 or whenever it came out. I actually couldn't watch them. Uh, now, later on, I watched it and I was like, okay, it's well done. Things like that or like Blair Witch Project, those are good movies. Those are well made. They use a lot of audio cues to scare you, dude. The, the storm is getting so small. I need to collect more orbs. I'm pretty far away, too. It's not good. I need 25, 26. Come on. Boom. 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 Is this stage two? Okay, this is stage three. That's why. I don't think I've ever beaten stage four. Oh, of course, it's so good. What's your plan for meme land? If captains were pumping, what what price would you be happy with? Oh, you! I gotta get that Yoku. There you go. Do I extract? Because I'm almost dead. 
I'm almost dead here. I kind of have to extract. I don't want to. But, like, I know I'm going to die in the next round. Let's extract. Web3 Gaming. Maybe I should ask my editors to make, like, a short out of this. Yo, buy my stuff. I hate that you have to select from here. It should just let me sell what I want, right? Sell. Sell. Maybe I need some of this stuff for crafting. I probably should have checked that first. It's too late now. I'm committed. Okay, let's go put the rest in the bank. I need. Can I get a bigger bank vault, bro? Oh, okay, just auto extends. Great. It'd be good if. I think when you go craft, it'd be good if you can craft. What's the tired soul? Hello, all this guys. The guy who wanted the glass jars. It'd be good if you can craft directly from your bank account and I don't have to like run back to the bank and be like, oh, I own this. Maybe you can. You cannot. Your cushards. Yeah, I need the good items. So titanium, I need titanium ore. I'm guessing for titanium ore. Maybe there's like uh, blueprints or something. Hello. GM. Give me your money. Not going to happen. Please? <laughs> yeah, I wonder if they use ChatGPT for this. Please? Still a no. Do you have a lot of money? Question mark. That's none of your business, kid. Yo, he called it. <laughs> Want to be my... My friend? Not interested. Please? I don't operate on pleases, okay? So what about commands? Be my friend or else I'll burn this city to the ground. <laughs> There's no work on me. Don't say I didn't warn you. I'll let the mayor know you ignored a direct threat on the city. Enjoy unemployment. Do what you must. Fine. Viper dude, sell me something, bro. Is there a popular crypto artist you or the chat recommend me to let me extend, follow? Uh, I'm still learning in this space. Bro, my, one of my favorite artists is uh, Sam Spratt. Love him. He, he launched a project already, though. But uh, yeah, him. Am I signed in? No, I'm signed in with the wrong wallet. Let me switch wallets here. Account. Which account do I need to connect to this? It's just going super rare, bro. I think I'm connected to super rare. Profile. Gorilla following, yes. Following. Now I want to see my following. Why can I not see who I follow? Uh, what's this? 
I mean, dude, I love Sam Spratt. He's a great artist. Uh, it depends what you're looking for. These are like one of one artists, right, on this uh, website. Can you guys see that? Yeah, you can. Uh, he's awesome. He just launched an open edition. Uh, but these pieces are absolutely amazing. I saw this one live, obviously digital. In, uh, oh, it's owned by Six, Punk6539 in New York, dude. I must have gone back to it and stared at it I don't know how many times. Uh, incredible piece. His latest piece, obviously, was... I don't know why it's not appearing on Super Rare. Um, but it was really great. He's built a cool world. And then he has the uh, masks of Lucy, or the skulls of Lucy, which are, I forget how many, 50-something uh, skulls like this, which are great. And he actually rewarded them for free to everybody who bid on the birth of Lucy. Uh, and now those things trade for like 90 ETH or something. So that was a, a W. Other artists, I like Other World is a great artist. And he said something coming soon. I don't know what he's referring to. Uh, he's a great artist, dude. This guy takes old pieces and he kind of recreates them. He, he meshes them together and he recreates them with his own style. So he has like these Grim Reaper slash Scream. I don't know why my internet's being so slow, but uh, I might have to switch to Chrome. I think it's just Firefox. Let's switch to Chrome. No parent. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, he, so he has these like Grim Reaper ghost characters. So this is like a famous piece recreated with his characters. And I don't know if they've mentioned it here. Yeah, based on the death of Julius Caesar and... Uh, the chapel of the Benevente family. So the chapel is probably just the background and then the death of Julius Caesar. Let's go look that up by this dude. Images. So yeah, you see this piece? It's, uh, oops. Oh, it's gonna make it full. So you see like the shape, how people are like leaning back and they have knives and stuff. Like he recreates his pieces with his own. Uh, I like T. Joe. Is this going to be him? Uh, this is him. Um, I think he's from Cat. I wonder if he's from Quebec, bro. He doesn't answer my DMs. But I wonder if he's from Quebec. Because his pieces are all in French. Maybe he's just from France. Uh, I really like his pieces. Um, he does a lot of live stuff lately, which is different. But yeah, I like his work. Uh, I mean, there's a ton of artists even I've done in the past some like artist spotlight videos where I just talk about my Why is McBest not coming up? McBest is a dope artist um, Who McBest is a Oh, look, I'm streaming 18 people. Let's go number go up McBest He's like an artist on YouTube he makes music. I won't play it because I'm going to get a copyright strike or something. But in here, he often has these like characters. Like here's one of his characters. You can see it. The girl. Oh, here. Let me let me mute it. Okay, it's already muted. Great. Uh, yeah, this character. She's in his art. Let's just go to foundation. Shin, what is it? Dot app. Don't rug me. Make best. Yes, these pieces. So it's the same girl, not there, but here. This girl with the tattoos, it's the same girl. His pieces are dope, dude. Uh, there's music on here. I guess I could play it because it's an NFT or whatever. Uh, here. Yo. So all his pieces are dope. And uh, Tony Babel is another one that I love. Is he gonna pop up? Yeah. He has like these vintage, this vintage art style and they're all on loops uh, with sound as well. I like how both of them utilize sound. It's gonna be loud. It's just like an endless loop. Um, and this one actually reminds me, that's this one specifically, this piece. Here, I'll, I'll play the noise. I like it's really well done, right? Dude, and it's like, he's shredding these little devils for pills uh let me 
here, I want to make sure my Twitter isn't open on my messages or anything like that. Uh, Bonigo is the project that the art reminds me a lot of this. Yeah, this one. This piece? It reminds me so much of this piece. And it's like a similar art style that they have. And that's why when I first saw it, I was like, oh dude, this kind of reminds me of Tony Babel. So they're building a game. I don't know how much I'm allowed to say about it. But yeah, they're making a game. Obviously, the thing applies that I said, right? Game requires a lot of money to make a good game. What's the type of game you would love? Uh, game I'd love to play on Web3. Um, I mean, a really good shooter, dude. Where you, Like, you know, Call of Duty, where the skins... I mean, I get it. You could already do that with CSGO, right? You could trade skins in crypto and all. Um... I mean, I would just, I would, honestly, I would like existing games to just implement it. I mean, something like GTA, GTA 6 having it would be dope. Or a uh, game like, you know, popular, like Fortnite or League of Legends. Something that I've put in a lot of time. I bought skins. And now I can't do anything with those skins. So those types of games. Um, other than that, uh, there's... Uh, this game, dude, I've put in so much hours, so many hours into Diablo 2 when I was young. And this game is like, it's kind of a clone <laughs> of Diablo 2, but it looks dope. I'm going to, they have a play test uh, coming up in not too distant future. But like, this is Diablo 2, dude. The layout is the same. Here, Barbarians using Worldwind. Uh, the Amazon, or they call Valkyrie, is using... Uh, Lightning Fury with her thing. She also has the bow. And if you look at their white paper, even the skill trees look very similar. Sorceress has Blizzard, has Frozen Orb, has Meteor. I assume she's going to have Hydra and Static and, and Chain Lightning and all these skills. So uh, the dungeons look the same. So this is cool. This, I, want, I love Diablo 2. So they, you know, they remade a Diablo 2 with new quests and new stories and everything. Dude, I'm all for it. I uh, wish I had the ability to legally sell things in WoW. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> people get around it, man. Some people I know, dude, they made they made all their crypto play, selling gold in games like uh, RuneScape. And they would sell it online for, for ETH and Bitcoin. And that was early ETH days, bro. ETH was like <clears throat> worth next to nothing. So they didn't hold, <laughs> unfortunately. But had they held, they'd be billionaires right now. Um, did I put everything in the bank? Yeah, I did. But now I don't know what to do because I'm kind of like, I can't sell stuff. My bank's full. I guess I saw I could keep putting stuff in the bank. What's this? Oh, a katana. Eight power, seven cooldown. Eight. Po it's the same katana I own. All right, one more run. One more. Let's see how far we can get. Let's try to get to four. If not, uh, yeah. How long have we been going? Does it tell me? Uh, an hour 18, an hour 20. Where are you at, robots? Is there any game you would like me to play on stream? I'm down for suggestions. I'm down to just try it out everything, right? And then I'll have a much better understanding of the, the gaming space and what's coming out. I got to play big time. That's one game I got to try. They gave me the code. I've just been loafing. Um, I also like to play games where there's a possibility of I get an airdrop. That's also dope, especially if I'm going to put time into it, which is kind of like the wrong reason to play a game, but get that money. <clears throat> I 
Uh, increased damage. But yeah, I'll also play games as they drop, right? Like, as they're more relevant, I guess I could say. Uh, I never do this. Let's do the pull. So I'll be collecting more faster and potentially losing less health. I like these guys because they just they don't come at you. They just walk in a line. So they're easy to just... Oh, 25%. Beautiful. <clears throat> and then I guess I have to make videos out of these. I, I can't really ask my editor to spend an hour and 20 minutes of his life re-watching my stream. Maybe I'll cut up the good moments for him. I don't have any games. Wait, let me, let me get, I'm about to beat this one and then I'll read it. There we go. Um, I don't have any games, but yeah, we just love a dungeon crawler, but built more like the Spire where it would be a mix of PVE, PVP, but you're not sure if you get into a bit with people or PVE. Um... I don't, I don't think they have PvP, but uh, Beacon is like a dungeon crawler, right? Kind of, it looks a lot like this. Uh, maybe that's something I should look up the Spire. The Spire gameplay. No commentary. Bro, why is my internet tripping today? Is it because I'm streaming? Wait, is the Spire a card game? Oh, wait, that's Slay of the Spire. All right. Let's play Slay of the Spire. So it's a card game? Or am I tripping? Hey, yo, what's up, Ryan? Yeah, I want to start playing games. We got to be, dude, we got to be recognized as gamers if we want to get these whitelists, bro. You got to get into it. Let's do gaming matches. I know you're playing Baldur's Gate. Uh, wait, I didn't read. Uh, you'll love to test out Chrono Forge. Yeah, dude, it pumped. Um, I saw somebody, was it even you? Who I think you posted about it on one of my YouTube comments. Uh, the next time they release a play test, they're airdropping a skin to those who complete the dungeon from the previous test. Oh, nice. If that makes sense. Uh, yeah, no, it does. Um, hey, yo, Slay the Spire is dope, man. It's a deck builder. Okay. I'm obsessed with Slay the Spire. Really? I, I've never heard of this game. How old is it? Five years. Hmm. Interesting. Do you guys play like the, the card games that are out now, right? There's uh, Parallel. There's a few. There's Skyweaver and stuff. But the only one I've actually put into, I, and I could play that one on stream too, is Parallel. Uh, I just get destroyed. Like it's, if you don't pay for cards. Ooh, I think actually I had one a deck from free NFT. I got to check if I got it. But if you don't, uh, you know, p buy cards, it's very hard to win, man. I was getting destroyed even when I bought cards. Uh, Yo, Rilla, what, what, what are we playing, Gangsta? We're playing uh, Worldwide, or we're playing Web by Worldwide Web. Uh, the game, like the apartments and stuff. Yes. What are you playing right now? Yeah, Worldwide Web. Uh, I'll put it, I, I, I got to figure out, because I'm, I'm doing it through OBS. There's a way to stream through YouTube, but for some reason, like, YouTube wasn't recognizing the stream. I got to figure it out. I'll watch it after this because I'm running it through OBS. So I was able to put a title, but I wasn't able to put a description unless I just ignored it. Um, Slay the Spire card robe like on the map. Okay, so you move around the Spire and your your the battles are using card a uh, deck of cards. Um, this is dog water. Okay, <laughs> dope. Uh, I played Gods Unchained in beta a while back. Did they give you an airdrop? I hope they give people who played an airdrop. I have no idea if they have a token or not. I know, wasn't that, that was the one on IMX? Or? These types of games won't make it too many of them. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's a lot of classic 
even side scroller types of games. But yeah, it's way harder to stand out and build uh, a really good audience. But it's not it's not like mainstream, you know. It's not like a Fortnite or a Call of Duty, which is what you want. You want a game where you have hundreds of millions of monthly players. But yeah, there's there's just there's so much same thing. There's so many card games, and then it begs the question: like, is it better than just playing a Web two card card game? Like, why does it need to be Web three? What do I care? I guess reselling the cards is cool, but unless you're buying the packs, I think I think there's a way to forge the NFTs. But mo when you buy the the packs in game, they're not NFTs. Bro, I didn't. I was gonna buy, so Soul was at 17, and then I was hoping for a dip. My friend told me to buy. I ignored it, and uh, yeah, would have been a nice 4X. I need to heal. But yeah, Solana, I've always hated on Solana, which was a mistake to play, clearly. Um, but there's gonna be more, dude, and there's gonna be a bunch more. The real, the bull market hasn't started yet, you know? I ain't worried. But yeah, it would be good to have like a plan for which altcoins to buy. I'm not really uh, holding any. I only hold Bitcoin and ETH and then NFTs. Which you could hold some and I'd probably, yeah, I'd get maybe an ape and stuff, but as a flip, right? Not as a... Like, I'd want to use it as my PFP, but at one point I'm going to get rid of it. So, like, why am I building a brand around an NFT I'm going to sell? Unless I become so rich that I don't need to sell it. That's, like, the dream. But, screw that. Even if I was filthy rich, I probably wouldn't hold it forever. Buy another Lambo. But I do want a, an ape. Like, I like the ape vibes. I think the ape vibes are going to come back strong. Uh, hopefully, ape fest goes good. Which one? What's Dump City? What's going to dump? You're talking crypto? I mean, yeah, I don't think we're in the, the bull market yet. The macro still is bad, is horrible. Like, there's a debt, there's actually a huge debt crisis coming up, corporate debt crisis, uh, mortgage crisis. Like, it's like this perfect storm, and they're not going to be able to control inflation and everything that's going on in the world, which is not good. Uh, they might just have to print for that. I mean, they're they're not even printing now; they're just adding to the debt, which is insane. Well, it's not really insane. It's what they've always done, but they're paying debt with debt. You know, it's just, the whole system is broken. I, I don't have a solution. I'm not trying to say. Uh... That's why get as rich as you can. Move to the forest. Let it be other people's problem. Move to the forest. Own a bunch of land. Buy some cool cars and motorcycles. Get a bunch of dogs. Yeah, we do. We got above. We got above forty-five today, not just thirty-five. It was up twenty-five percent at one point. I don't know if it still is. But people keep saying that about like the unlocks and the dumps and like uh, FTX is gonna dump and they're getting. But it just keeps pumping, bro. <laughs> Oh man, this is horrible. Oh no. Yeah, I'm dead. It gets too small and there's just too many and the the swiping isn't fast enough. 
Play Fight Galaxy or Galaxy Fight Club. I remember that one. That's uh They're the one that had like they 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 put an ape in it and they put different NFTs in it, I think, right? I forget what these kind of games are called. Yeah. I played similar. I never played this one, but I've played similar games. I guess they're web two versions. Um, I hear that a lot got laid off because work is slow. It's. I think it's going to get worse. How many followers is Char at? <laughs> they put him as a quest. Did he cross a mill? He's at 946,000. Dude, he was at like 12K and he's almost at a mill. It's hilarious. Um. <laughs> See, if the, the dude was asking about art is still here. Uh, Gruff, he launched a PFP today. You know, first he built a following through. That's a dope one, man. Oops. This one, the ape with the uh, Sam Spratt. See, another artist I was talking about with his masks. But yeah, he built one of ones by Gruff. He kind of built a little following. Some of these, you know, they don't sell for crazy amount. You know, this one sold for 0.55. I think he has some who sold for an ETH. Uh, this one is, this piece is fire, man. But he built his audience and then he launched a PFP and he didn't get greedy, very reasonable mint price, less than 0.05. And what's it at? Uh, why are you not working? Trending, is it still trending? Gruff, grufters, whoop, it's down. I sold mine, thankfully. I didn't hit a rare. I held it to reveal, which I normally don't. I should have sold at 0.38, but uh, oh, it made it back today. What with time? Okay, these are the rare ones. Yeah, what am I saying? And now it's down, but they're cool pieces. Makes for a decent PFP. They just, they look quite similar. That's what I don't like. These are mooning. I have no idea what these are. Star M. When's this account made? A month ago, brand new account. This is weird. Is he like some web two guy? A contemporary artist through the deeply infusion of technology. LinkedIn. <laughs> An artist that links to his link. Wait, I don't want to go to my LinkedIn. An artist that links to his LinkedIn. That's weird. Yeah, they're getting swept, bro. Why? Nice little cook. Were they free? I don't want to buy it. I want to see it on OpenSea, bro. Show me on OpenSea. Was it a free mint? Yeah, I'm guessing it was a free mint. They're nice. This one's nice. I want to get into NFTs, but I don't have any money. What would be a good place to start? Uh, <laughs> like to buy? I mean, I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't, I mean, buy stuff you like, bro. I wouldn't be buying uh, stuff without money. I mean, look to, to flip whitelist, bro. Look to get it, look to get whitelists for especially free mints. 
this one's too late, but like L37 was a pri perfect example. Very difficult to get. Uh, very difficult to get, but this thing's going to cook and it's a free mint. Hopefully at least 0.5, I think it can go higher. Like if it's only like 0 0.3, 0 0.4 on secondary, I'm, I'm going to sweep some. But yeah, no money, dude. Look for free gaming mints. There's a ton of uh, people who make great. I need to start making these lists, you know. But like Skyline makes great lists. Uh, does he have one here? No. He used to have it pinned. He just, he tweets too much. I'm going to have to scroll for years. So basically he, he has great lists. Um, I'm trying to think of different people in, in actually in a video I did recently, I gave them all like a shout out, all these guys who make these really dope lists. Um, but yeah, dude, find the free mints that are, that you think are going to cook, especially games, man, low supply. Oh, sky, sky arc. Uh, right now they, if you can get a code, like hop in the discord, do the quests, which are it's for free. You, you use engage bot, you interact with their posts, excuse me. And, um, uh, you get it and they say it here. So you basically go on their website, which sky arc, it's going to make me log in again. Um, I'm going to log in off screen just cause I don't want to put my email log in. Send code. Uh, is it going to show my email? Okay, no, it doesn't. Good. Um, yeah, dude, this one, I would try to interact with this one because you get, uh, there's daily check-ins where you get points. And then there's daily quizzes, which the questions aren't that hard and you get points. And they say here, code plus farming equals free tokens, spell book, free tokens, all free. And at one point they said tokens are going to equal the token that they're launching. So this is going to be free money from a gaming token. So I think, and their games look dope. Do they have three different mobile games? Um, that aren't yet out yet, but they have demos and everything for them. So House of Heroes, which is the answer. I don't know why. This is their first one. No, I got this answer wrong. I don't know why. Uh, House of Heroes, I guess maybe it's Skyverse that they're launching. And then um, in the quiz, I'm just... So Legends Arise, they have three games. I like this one. And it's all free. And now I don't know what the spell book thing is. I have to figure out what that is. I DM'd the team about it. But uh, who caught wind of the secrets about the spell book? And that seems to be their... Spellbook equals free tokens. I don't know if it's going to be an NFT or something, but I need to get me a spellbook. Um, I didn't. I didn't. I need to turn on noties and comment on all their stuff to make sure I get everything. Because projects like that, projects like when you support them. Yeah. So projects like this, dude. That your question was what what to do, man. I would be looking for. I would not be looking to spend money on NFTs, bro. That's an easy way to go broke. I'd be looking for good whitelists that are free. Or if you find a cheap one, you know, Grufters, it was 0 0.05 to mint. Uh, but you could check in time if it was flippable, right? If that, if your goal was just to flip it and it was flippable, it was selling for 0.169. The first few sales, there was an offer on OpenSea, a real offer, because sometimes there's fake offers of 0.15. So you could have done like, okay, if I mint for 0 0.05, it was less, but let's just say with gas, I can immediately flip this and accept an offer and make 0.1 ETH, which is 180 bucks or wherever we are with ETH. So that's what I'd be trying to do. Um, I would also be trying to network with people and make friends who are in the space. Your network is very powerful. You know, join some groups that join free groups, dude. Just join a, find some friends and join free groups, hanging out in discord, learn about trading and tokens and stuff. The whole meme coin trading, you can lose a lot of money, but if you catch the right one and you know the right people, you could also make a lot of money. But I wouldn't, if, you have, if you're broke, bro, don't even uh, risk that stuff, you know? Just do the, the easy stuff that you're not going to get burnt on, which to me is 
flipping these free whitelists, which it's a lot harder to do in this market. It's a lot harder to get the spots. The meta right now for all these gaming projects is low supply. <laughs> That's funny. Low supply, uh, make it very exclusive, hard for people to get, but at least it's free. A lot of these are free. So see, these are the Sam Spratt uh, skulls of Lucy that I was talking about, where you join the council and it's all like artists on the council. Oh, one sold 35 minutes ago for 75 ETH, 140 grand. These were given out for free, just not even winning the auction. If you just put a bid on his first piece of art, he gave you one of these for free and it's currently trading for 140 grand, bro. That's crazy. Oh, this is an upgrade. That's so weird. <laughs> Everybody's going ham on this avalanche stuff, man. New quest is up. Solana, see? Solana, 45 bucks today, bro. I slept on it. It just sold 66 grand for a blue knife in CSGO. Um, oh yeah, he did. Met a yellow panther. Wait, let me catch up to the list. Let me catch up. The whole gang's here. Uh, I want to get into NFTs. Okay. They also pulled, uh, they also put coin gecko watch list as a quest now. Oh, that's good, man. That's smart. I wonder how many they're at. Uh, I'll go check in in a minute. Uh, can't lie. Says this respect. Look at, looks like soul art. Bro, that's that's what somebody said today. It looks like soul art. That uh, nonsense. Soul art ain't bad. Yeah, it doesn't mean it's bad. There's some really good soul artists, dude. Um, project called Metami has some real dope art. Projects on Soul Burger Flippers. That's the problem. That's why I didn't like Soul, dude. Because there, I realized gas was a feature, not a bug, because it kept all like the lower flippers out uh, from ETH. But then no royalties killed that. Yeah, man. Uh, oldest soul is that his name? Okay, yeah. uh, but manlet cooked it. Did I didn't I missed that, bro? I missed I was sleeping. Can I still get into that L37? No, you cannot. I, I don't think maybe in the Discord you can still earn it by playing games, that's how they're giving it out. But I think the mint is really soon. I know we had a collab in Grill Labs for it, and the deadline was October 25th. So I, I'm assuming whitelist is done, but um. Ash was going to ask them to get to come on our spaces and we we're going to try to see if we can get a whitelist bot or two to give away. But they only have 600 NFTs total. Only, I think 200 were for collabs and uh, the rest they were trying to give out through the community. I don't know how that went because they also did a partnership with Free NFT. And part of the partnership was, okay, you have to give us some to give away to our community, uh, which, dude, I got so lucky and won that, bro. Uh, people are accusing me of, of rigging it. The one dude told me I, I won't get into heaven <laughs> for winning <laughs> this giveaway, bro. But uh, I got so lucky winning this. And then uh, I won parallel as well, but I don't know how to claim this. You won either uh, one of 100 starter packs or 10 exclusive special edition cards. I have no idea how to claim this though. Uh, and I, I got to check my wallet to see if it's there and they have some more ones. So this site too, the guy asking, how do I get an NFTs? Dude, just go on this site, free Uh, don't get scammed and go on a fake site. If this is by Igor, uh, I'm just going to, again, I'm always here. I have Twitter open here. This is by Igor and now Gabriel, Igor, this guy free own, make sure it's the right dude, 600,000 followers, uh, free NFT slash whitelist and it's just raffles for free nfts and then there's servers like i started doing in my discord you could join my discord i started doing these giveaways um and i'm going to try to get more just to activate it right it's it's like an exchange so i do this i use the engage bot and people engage with my stuff it gets me more engagement on my tweets and then projects see the higher engagement and they're willing to give me more stuff and then with that more stuff which are just whitelists, I'm able to come back and just do whitelist raffles for both my paid members, but then I can also give some in the free side, which my paid members can enter. Uh, but yeah, it's more stuff. Uh, somebody said in the pa Yellow Panther has a make. Oh yeah, here. So Yellow Panther, wait, this one's from August. Um, these aren't just whitelists though. These are games, but I got to go through this and figure out what games to, 
uh, play and stuff. He's playing today the game that uh, I just played, and he has a sign-up link. So if you want to play it, check out Yellow, Yellow Panther's page and use his uh, sign-up link to get access to the game. Uh, there's a free NFT in here, but it's just this picture thing. I don't know if it's going to be – I don't think it's going to be worth anything. Uh, hey, man. Hey, what's up? Law still holding. Was gonna, I got to get faster at reading the chat. I was going to take profits, but I later put in 0.5 soul because I saw Brohala talking about it and figured I'd play for fun. Miss a 10x. Uh, dude, the only thing I do with soul is I go play soul crash and lose all my Solana. How do you build a following as an artist in the NFT space? I don't think you have to worry about the NFT space. I think just make good art, dude. If your art is really good and you find a style where you stand out, like, you know, you look at all these artists, Sam Spratt and T. Joe and, and all the artists I showed, they all have a very unique, not uh, unique art style. Yes, but it's more of an, an art style, right? It's like, uh, like if I'm scrolling the timeline and I see a, a piece, I'll know it's T. Joe by the blue. I'll know it's, it's drift because he's, <laughs> he's on a, a building looking down uh, a thousand feet. I'll know it's, um, there's like something, a feature that stands out about the artist where you know it's their work. The same way with my thumbnails on YouTube, right? I have a thumbnail style and people kind of recognize it a bit, right? It's not, it's nothing crazy, but you recognize it. Um, so I would try to, you know, just make a lot of art so you discover yourself. And then by doing that, people are also going to be able to vibe with your art. Just make good art. That's the answer, honestly. And then with that art, people are going to start to follow you. Like if I go through my lists... Um, I have an art connoisseur list where I just, I just throw in every time I find an artist I like, I just follow them. Uh, I got to turn off retweets. That's what's annoying. But yeah, I just throw them in this list. And like, you know, if I saw Sam Spratt piece, I, I think I would recognize it, right? Because he has a very unique style. Um, there's a lot of artists. So just find your style, dude, and make good art. That's the answer. There's no like secret. And then to go to the big leagues, I think there is a secret. You have to, you have to play the game. You have to kiss the ring. You gotta, you know, be friends with the right people and have a good network. And they're gonna help you grow your art. But to start off, dude, just make good art. Like that's that's the answer. Just get good at making your art and master your craft. And then people will recognize you if your work is good. And if it's not good, it doesn't deserve to sell for a lot of money. You know. So there's no like. Uh, Secret formula. Are you still airdrop farming? I'm pretty burnt out after spending hundreds of fees in gas and dude. I am. <laughs> I haven't in the in the last like six weeks, which is horrible. But I have uh, not this laptop. I have another laptop. This is my burner laptop. I have another laptop where I. Uh, it's like my farm, and I have a full system set up with proxies and everything and uh, like Google Doc sheets where I track everything, the dates, the last time I touched that wallet and I'm farming. The problem is I did too much. Like I'm farming Mantle, ZK Sync, uh, Starknet, uh, Venom. I'm doing like six airdrops at once, which like it, it kind of made me burn out on the farming. But I, I ha every day I say, oh, you, I got to get back to it. So I will. Uh, it's, a, it's, excuse me, it's in my list of priorities. Uh, to start doing it again. So yes, because I think they're going to pay. Now the rumors are um, my airdrop farming guy from my server says, oh, that's dope, dude. <laughs> I like this. It's like a Pepe uh, gruff. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, my airdrop farming guy says there's a chance that um, layer zero is in December. So that'll be a great payday if you've been doing layer zero. And... Uh, Shrapnel is a game that looks dope. I bought one of their extraction packs. Uh, it looks great. I'm going to definitely play that one on stream. Uh, referring to mainnet farming. Yeah. Oh, Linea is another one I'm doing as well. So I have just too many. I kind of just have to slow it down. But I want to keep doing the, uh, the videos. I like doing the farming videos. A bit confusing. Something happened on November 3rd. So yeah, the date's confirmed. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep the... Now there's ZK EVM, which they restarted the quest. So I got to make a tutorial for that. And I never made the ZK Sync tutorial, which is only 2024. People are saying May 2024. So there's still time. So I'll probably make a tutorial for that as well. That's a cool one. It's an X copy piece. Uh, what's the name of the game? Uh, Web by... 
World Wide Web. Is that, is it this? Yeah, it's this. So it's by these guys. It's web.game with web with two Bs. And, uh, oh, okay, yo, I could forge this sword. I have no idea how, but apparently I could forge this sword. I got to figure that out. That's a dope shot. Raiden 2 is a good guy. So I fought Yellow Panther. I was getting really good. All these guys, Raiden, Apex. Uh, these guys are really good at finding games. So I follow. I have noties on for all these guys. When they post about games, I get on them right away. Uh, Raiden has been posting excellent news updates that I steal from my videos. Thank you, Raiden. Treeverse, dude, I want to try Treeverse. It looks dope. Uh, Loopify doesn't follow me, though, and he doesn't answer me whenever I tag him. Uh, Thanks a ton, dude, for sure, man. My pleasure. Soul hit 46.9 today. Gorilla, have you seen what Moom World is doing? No, I haven't. I have no idea what that is, to be honest. Uh, I never win any Igor giveaway. He doesn't like me, bro. <laughs> I, I just, it's the first time I win. I just got, actually, no, I won the Digidagaku Dragon thing as well. Um, did I? Oh, no, I, no, no, I didn't. I was able to mint because I held the NFTs, which I took a loss on. I didn't win the Dragon on a free NFT. Yeah, haha, my Google Sheet is out of control. Yeah, me too, bro. Uh, actually, mine's pretty well organized. There's, there's just too many tabs. Gotta run, do more of these. It was fun. Yeah, bro. I'm, I'm, uh, ideally I can, I, I want to do these daily, but it, you quickly, especially if I'm going to be doing Twitter spaces and, uh, and streams and I have to do my videos and all the calls, it becomes very overwhelming quickly. So I want to pace myself. Maybe I'll start like twice a week or something, but I like, uh, I like playing games. So I might as well stream while I'm playing. Like I could even, I, I, I could stream league and stuff. I suck. You guys can watch me get wrecked. But the problem is the YouTube algo uh, punishes you if you, so I got to call it like uh, a web three game, you know, uh, here, this is a great artist, Kath Simon. She's a photographer, but look at her like connections, right? National Geographic, Christie's, Sotheby's. She's obviously connected. This is a great site too. Uh, for the person who asked, how do I find good artists? This is a great site, man. Uh, art, art of this millennium. I thought it was of the millennium, but I guess I changed it. Uh, see, TJ, this is where I discovered a lot of my favorite artists. Uh, Kat Simo is on here. You got DK, um, F Render, uh, Grant Yoon. A lot of people love his work. His work sells for a lot of money. Um, as new ones, I don't, I got to check out a lot of these. Uh, Nest Graphics, Otherworld is one I spoke about before. Uh, Sam Spratt I spoke about before. Uh, Searlight, her work is dope, dude. Um, Terrell Jones, he makes some great pieces. I don't know who the T Joe is. It hidden by my camera? Yeah. So T Joe, uh, Vittorio Bonapace, uh, he's cool. Uh, he makes like these futuristic pieces. She looks like that actress. Uh, I forget her name. Emily something. Uh, yeah, this is a great site. I, there was another site, but I forget what it is. But this is a really good site for the person who wants, uh, who was looking for art. It's called Art of This Millennium. And the link is, uh, just check, do it on Twitter. It's a AOTM gallery. Oh yeah, I won the dragon as well. Dude, I, I was able to mint it uh, with the QR code. Yeah, that's what you mean. Yeah, yeah okay, I did the QR code thing. Uh, but wasn't there also a win that they gave away some on the site? I forget. Uh, you should check them out. They're building a social gaming platform and have a bunch of other stuff that's getting done. They had a bunch of stuff done pre-mint. Uh, I will check them out. Moom World. Moom World. There's so many games being built, dude. And a lot of them are building like these metaverses, but they're way too early. Um... And they, they, they reach out, they're like, oh, can you play test my game? And I'm just, I look at it, I'm like, 
guys, what do you want me to play test here? <laughs> like, there's nothing. You have no game. I'm like walking in an empty room. The other thing you have to be careful for is, is games that want you to download. Like, I don't download it. This one is on the web. The one I just played. Is it here? Is it in the other browser? And uh, yeah, that's on the web. And if not, I, uh, I want them to be in like Epic Game Store or something because Epic Game does the, the checks. <laughs> that's hilarious. Uh, yo, that being said, I'm going to go have some dinner. Thank you for watching the Crypto Gorilla. Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't already done so, would you kindly? Do you know what the game that's from? I've said it a couple of times. That's from a game. Um, I'd be shocked if you didn't know it. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. Peace. I'll definitely do more of these because I really enjoy it. Uh, I got to figure out how do I stop the stream. I guess I just click stop streaming. Later, everybody. Thank you for joining.